we kind of need the billionaires to be coming in because <laughs> U.S. household cumulative excess savings not looking so hot here going into July of 24, right? So the cumulative savings, I think this was in billions, right? Was uh, 1.86 billion here uh, at the top in 21 and it's gone, right? Pretty sad chart, to be honest. Um, yeah, because th this is how really through inflation and squeezing the economy and doing all the bullshit that they do, right? They literally just find ways to take money from people uh, and then give it back to themselves. So not great, right? But um, so Murad from Must Stop Murad here says, why large scale prolonged altcoin season is not coming anytime soon in one chart. There's your anti-hopium for the day. The, mo uh, the most you can hope for is an occasional well-timed spike by a particular flavor of the month outperformer from the crypto native player versus player hot ball of money. Enough said. Not, not, the, not, the, not the hopium tweet you want to be looking at necessarily, but the, the shot of reality that sometimes you need in this market. Um, again, not great. But um, I have actually noticed this as well, just in different analytics that I've seen throughout this bull market. A lot of the times people are like, how come we're not pumping more? How come we're not pumping more? Well, yeah, us DGens out here fucking, you know, keep working, find ways to make some crazy money and, and you know, uh, keep pumping money into the market. But a lot of the normies out there aren't quite ready for that yet. It looks like, especially, you know, if they're hurting out here. So um, not, not great, but... Uh, important to note and if you are you know not in this camp where you don't have your you know where you do have excess savings you do have accumulated money in assets that you know that you can hold for a long time and that will outperform the market and all those types of things and consider yourself lucky right you're not poor congratulations right um and i would say 90 percent of america you know roughly speaking i don't know the actual statistics but 90 percent of america um can be in that category right i think the one thing that in a, a lot of americans since i came back to america we kind of have this hopeless despair of the zoomers a little bit and it's kind of interesting to me because i do still think you know the american dream is possible you just have to work harder to find it and compared to most countries in the world americans ha probably have it off better than most places so even though this is a case and it is not looking great and the U.S. does kind of screw its own economy in different ways plenty of times, um, you know, uh, if you're not in that category, if you still have excess savings and you're doing well, then, you know, um, you should feel pretty good about it. 